In this video, I will show you how to install PuTTY on Windows PC or laptop. PuTTY is a free and open source terminal emulator, serial console, and network file transfer application. It supports several network protocols including SCP, SSH, Telnet, and raw socket connection. It can also connect to a serial port. Let's proceed. Open your web browser and go to putty.org. Under Download Putty, click here to download Putty. Under Package Files we will go to MSI Windows Installer. We will select the Putty 64-bit installer. You can select 32-bit if you are using Windows 10 32-bit version. If you want to verify your operating system version, go to Desktop. Right click on this PC, Properties. You can see the system type is 64-bit operating system. Now, go back to your web browser. In my case I will choose 64-bit. Click on it to download the executable file. The file is only 2.9 megabytes. Let's now check the downloaded file. Double click on it to install. We will leave it all as default. Click next. Click next again. Click install to proceed. Wait for it to install the application. You can view the readme file or you can uncheck it then click finish. If you want to create shortcut icon on desktop, go to search, type putty. Right click on putty app then choose open file location. Right click on putty, point your cursor to send to, choose desktop. Notice the putty shortcut created on desktop. You can also pin it to the taskbar, right click on it then choose pin to taskbar. Let's now run the application. In my case, this laptop is connected to the Cisco router. To access the device console, you have to check first the COM port number. Right click on this PC, choose manage. Choose device manager. Look for ports COM. Click on it to expand. You can see I am using Aiden USB to serial which is connected to COM3. Now, go back to the putty. Choose Serial, enter the COM number which in my case is COM3. Leave the speed to default. Click Open. We are now connected to the switch. You can enter your username and password to view or edit the configuration. If you want to resize the font since it's too small, right click at the top. Choose Change Settings. Go to Appearance. Under Font Settings click Change. You can change the font style and font size based on your likings. We will choose Font 16 for this demo. Click OK then click Apply. Notice the font size has been changed. Next is I will show you how to change the font colors. Right click at the top. Choose Change Settings. Go to Colors. Click default for background. You can modify it or you can enter the value, we will enter my favorite color. Red is 255, green is 255 and blue is 36. You can go to appearance if you want to change the font settings again or leave it to our previous changes. Now, we have to save the changes permanently. Go to session. Click on default settings. Click save to permanently save the changes. Now, close the application then open it up again. Enter the COM port number then click open. You can now see the fonts and colors has been changed. Next is you can access the device using the IP address. Open the putty. You can use SSH which is port 22 to access your device or if you want to use Telnet, click other then choose Telnet. This depends on the device configuration. Now, enter the device IP address. Go to saved sessions. 
Enter your desired name for the device, we will give a name of Cisco router. Click save to save the session. You can now access the device by choosing the session instead of entering the IP address. Click open to access the device. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you like this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials, thank you and see you in the next video.